My powder just fell everywhere. <sighs> I'm being tested. Hey guys and welcome to this video. This is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look that I have on right here. And I am so in love with this look. Literally like... I'm going to wear this on my wedding day. I just find like this is just such beautiful wedding makeup because I'm a little extra and over the top and I would totally do glitter on my wedding day. Like who gonna stop me? But <laughs> yeah, um, this is the look that I came up with and I am using the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. And I just find that I have so many palettes that just kind of get lost in the shuffle and I don't really use that often. So I saw this and I was like, I totally want to do a look with that. And so this is how the look came out and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Hopefully you guys like it too. And so if you want to see how I got it, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Alright, so I'm going to start off by priming my face. And I'm just going to be using the primers I've been loving recently. And I've started off with using the Rose Water and Glycerin Spray. This I think I got off of Amazon or maybe at like Whole Foods or something. I can't actually remember. It's by um, the Heritage Store. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure I got this at Whole Foods. But anyways, I'm just going to use this to spray my face face and then I kind of let it dry semi and then before it's fully dry I go in with my Smashbox photo finish pore filling primer and I like to put it on again while it's a little bit dry I mean a little bit wet still because it kind of makes a paste and I feel like it just fills in my pores and smooths out my skin even more so yeah, I've just been loving that combination. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and do my brows off camera because they take me a super long time and I don't want this to be a really long video. So I am just going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the shade Ebony. And then I'll kind of do any areas that I really like, usually the arch and just kind of sharpening up the under brow. Um, with the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in black. And then I've been setting it with the um, Soap and Glory Archery Volume Boost Brow Fiber Gel. So this has been like my go-to brow trio. So I'm just going to go ahead and do my brows real quick and then I'll be right back to hop into the eyes. <laughs> Alright, I am back with my brows done and I know they look super dramatic but that's just because I don't have any makeup on. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I don't look this crazy once we're done. So, <laughs> yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the actual eye makeup. So first, I'm going to start off by priming my eyes. So if you guys regularly watch my tutorials or my videos, you probably know what is about to come next. I'm just going to take my NARS eyeshadow base, my base, eyeshadow base. It is my only tried and true favorite eyeshadow base. Now that we're primed, I am also going to use a base. If you don't have oily or eyelids, you can kind of just go in with this and skip the primer. I need the primer before I put on anything, but I am going to go in with the MAC Paint Pot in Lay and Low and just get a little bit of that on my eyes. I also take it under my eyes a little bit too because you are going to put some shadow on the lower lash line. So now that we have that on our eyes, I'm going to go and set that with my Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder. Um, it is the banana shade. They do have, I think, like a terracotta shade and then a translucent shade or like a white one. Um, so they do have one for a bunch of different skin tones. I think this one is really good for kind of medium to like medium tan skin tones and then they have a terracotta one for darker skin tones which is so amazing like I honestly feel like you don't see a lot of translucent powders and stuff especially in the drugstore for darker skin tones so I think that's super awesome that they came out with that so now I'm gonna go into the eyeshadows and I am using the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette today I realize I really don't 
use a lot of the eyeshadow palettes that I have. So I want to start doing more looks with older shadow palettes. But today we are going to be using the Sweet Peach palette. And I'm going to start off by taking this shade right here called Puree. And it's just a nice brown crease color. And you want to make sure that you're taking time to blend um, the shadows, all the shadows, because that's really where you're going to get like the quality of your makeup is from the blending. If you just spend like two seconds blending and then you're just throwing on more shadows, it's going to get muddly, it's going to get messy, and it's not going to look very well put together in the end. So now that we have that shade put down, I'm going to take Summer Yum, which is this shade right here, the shade right next to the one that we just used. Um, it's kind of like a ready brown. I'm just going to pop that right under where we just placed that initial crease color. So kind of just deepening up that crease. I'm going to go back into that initial shadow brush that we were using, the blending brush. I'm not putting any extra product on, but I'm just kind of using whatever's left over to blend these two colors together um, just to make sure that they're fading into each other really nicely. Now I'm going to go into this shade right over here, just like a deep brown color, just to deepen up the crease just a tad. Um, and this is called Charmed, I'm sure. Like I said, it's just a nice deep brown. And just taking a little teeny bit, I don't really want to deepen it up too much um, right now. If we need it a little deeper, we can always go back in later. So I'm taking the smallest amount, just placing it on there, and then I'm just going to blend it out trying to keep it into this outer V area. Now I'm going to go back in with the second color that we used, that kind of ready brown called Summer Yum. And I'm just going to add a little bit more because I feel like it kind of got lost in the sauce. And so I want to bring out it a little bit more. Not too much because again we don't want to like lose that deepness. So just placing a little bit over and then going back in with that very first brush again not adding any product and just using it to blend out the edges all right now I'm going to go in to the lid color and I'm going to do kind of like a half cut crease and so I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape and this is in tan sand and I've been absolutely loving the Morphe E19 brush um, it's actually a lip brush I got it in my Morphe um, Morphe Me subscription box and I was like um I knew I was not going to use it as a lip brush because I never really use a lip brush so I've been like just trying to find other ways to get use out of it and it's so amazing for like multi-purpose reasons it's awesome Now I'm going to go back in with that Summer Yum shade and I am going to blend out the very edge like where the concealer starts to meet. Alright, then I'm going to take a little bit of that Charmed I'm sure, bring back a little more of the darkness. Alright, so now we're going to go in with the lid shade, and I am just going to take this beautiful shade right here called Bellini, and just pop that right where the concealer is. And then I'm just going to take the shade right up here called Luscious. It's such a gorgeous shade. I'm just going to pop that on my, the inner corner of it, and just get a little bit on the lid, just for like a little bit of bam. And if you want, you can totally stop here, just like do your lashes, your liner, and keep it moving. But I want to be a little bit extra and add a little bit of glitter into the crease because I'm extra. I am going to take the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. It's like their liquid glitter eyeshadows. This one is in Kitten Karma. It's such a beautiful like rosy pink color. I'm just going to kind of just take the glitter off of the applicator. 
then i'm just gonna follow kind of like above my crease because i do have hooded eyelids you can totally build it up to your liking and i want it to kind of fade out so i'm gonna let it kind of dry a little bit and then kind of fade it out so you just get a couple of sparkles towards that inner corner all right, so now I'm just going to go ahead and put on some mascara and pop on some lashes. I'm just going to be reusing these lashes. These are the Ardell Studio Effect Wispies. I just think they're really nice, really natural, but they still have a little bit of a pop to them. So I'm going to go ahead and apply these and then I'll be right back to finish off the face and then the eyes. All right, and we are back. So now we're going to move on to foundation. And I'm going to use my Sonia Kashuk Soft Matte Foundation. Or, sorry, Soft Focus Satin Matte Foundation. I'm going to do about two pumps right here. So I'm going to take this e.l.f. sponge. I actually just purchased this as well because I see Aaliyah's face literally rave about it. It's like the only sponge she uses so I wanted to try it out because I respect her and her opinion. So yeah. It's not giving me as much coverage as I'm used to so I'm just going to mix in my Milani one. I'm going to go in with the shade Sand. Now I'm going to go back in with that Tarte Shape Tape and put it under my eyes, down my nose, just like down the center of my face pretty much. Just going to let that kind of rest for a second, mostly under my eyes. I'm going to blend out the part in the middle of my face. You can use this to clean up the edge of your, uh, the edge of your eyeshadow as well. I'm going to take my Eco Tools sponge. I didn't wet it or anything. I'm just going to use it for powder. And just lock in all right underneath our eyes. And while I kind of just love that bake for a very, very little short amount of time, I'm going to go in with my MAC Studio Fix powder on a flat brush. Then I'm also going to wipe off that baking we're gonna go ahead and add some color back into our face so I'm gonna take the Max Studio Fix powder in NC 47 another buy off of the recommendation of Aaliyah's face if you guys don't watch her you need to she's amazing I'm just gonna use this as a bronzer to bring some color back to my face now I'm gonna take that same makeup revolution powder that we use under our eyes kind of sculpt out and then while that bakes for a second I'm going to use that actually as a guide for my contour and this is the sleek face form palette in the shade medium I'm just going to take that contour color and go right up here So I'm going to go into my Tarte Holiday Blush. This is the Blush Bazaar palette and it's just like a compilation of 10 blushes. So I'm going to go in with, I think I want to go in with Fortune. I've really been loving like corally blushes. So I think I'm going to go in with a little bit of Fortune. Now I'm going to go back in onto that under eye, I almost dropped the fucking palette, I can't. I'm going to go back into that peach palette from Too Faced and I'm going to start off with Puree, which is that first color that we did in our crease and apply it under the eyes. Then I'm going to go in with that Summer Yum, dust it right on over. For the liner, I'm going to take this ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Show Me. It's just a nice, like, bronzy eyeliner. More like a bronzy, like, copper, I guess. Then I'm going to go back in with a little bit of that glitter. I'm just going to use the applicator. 
we're just going to go ahead, set our face, do a little highlighting, finish out the lips, and then we are done. Okay? Okay. So I'm going to take the Urban Decay Quick Fix, because this is literally just the first setting spray that I pulled. Spritz your face. I'm just going to take this Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter in the shade Molten Gold. Just get a little bit of that. Hit the high points of the cheek. I'm going to take one of the three nude lipsticks that I just got from MAC because they had their Black Friday sale and I got 25% off. So I was like, yes, bitch. First, I'm going to start off by lining my lips with the um, NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner. I'm so obsessed with these lip liners. I just, I can't get over them. I'm going to take the shade Mason. I just like slightly, very, very slightly overline my lips. Then I'm going to go in with Jubilee, which I'm so obsessed with. I fell in love with the other store and I had to buy it. And this is a luster. Then I'm going to take the Essence Stay With Me Long Lasting Lip Gloss in the shade... I don't see any shade name on here. So, yeah. Just to get a little bit of pinkness to match the eyes, I guess. Alright, so this is the final look. Hopefully you guys liked it. I am absolutely obsessed with this look. Honestly, I love how it came out. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below what you guys want to see next. Are there any specific palettes that you guys um, have that you purchased a while back that you want to use? And if I have it, I'll totally do a tutorial using it next. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye!